Hey guys, uh, first of all, congrats on the win. Uh, Kaimana, just wanted to kind of ask a little bit about the defensive line. I know that was kind of a topic conversation throughout the week. I know you picked up another sack, but it seemed like the defensive line r really kind of got to the quarterback this time to collapse the pocket. How good does it feel to kind of make an impact and kind of help out your DBs and linebackers to, to kind of send the quarterback scrambling? I mean, it's awesome. You know, we always talk about in practice that, you know, the DBs don't give us three seconds and we just got to get, get there in time. Um, the D-line, they did a tremendous job this week because we were able to pick on when it was pass, when it was run. You know, just getting the third down was the biggest deal for us, and we just let the dogs hunt pretty much. Uh, for Jared, uh, congratulations on your first career touchdown. I uh, just kind of wanted to ask, what did it feel like for you to, to get out there and make an impact? I know Rolo and Stutz and the rest of your teammates were saying, you know, you're someone who could really break out just like JoJo and Cedric did. How did it feel personally to get out there and, and get into the end zone? Uh, it definitely felt good at first, but you know it's just part of my job, so it's just something I got to do every day. Yeah. I just kind of wanted to ask just a little bit about the punt return uh, mm -hmm. game going on. Uh, w w what kind of happened there? Were, were you a little distracted just with the the runners coming at you, or just kind of what happened? No, it's just me and my technique. I just got to work on it. Just got to get under the ball more. Just kind of put my hands out a little bit. So. For Cole, uh, just kind of wanted to assess your performance today. Uh, another four touchdown performance. Found Jared in the end zone. Uh, can you talk a little bit about just the chemistry with with your receivers and and being able to find multiple guys on on any given play? Yeah. Um, first off, it's it's the offensive line. You know, uh, I can't give enough credit to those boys up front. How they battle and how they uh, just protect me and give me the time in the pocket to give the ball. You know, Jared Smart, Cedric, to Joe, to Jason, to Lincoln. Um, you know, just having those weapons around and having those guys that are just so versatile with how they move, how they run, how they catch the ball in tight windows. Uh, you know, it's it's pretty fun just to, you know, dish the ball and have somebody, you know, go make a play. You know, you know, Jerry caught an eight yard hitch, went for like 30 yards. You know, that's the type of stuff that our offense is about and the, the kind of caliber of receivers that we have here. And it's pretty fun. I mean, I'm looking on it today, you know, the guys executed well, but there's also some things we can clean up as a as an offensive unit. You know, defense held us down, but um, you know the offense has to clean up some stuff and uh, go into conference. You know, pretty confident. I know you guys jumped out to uh, an early 21 uh, point lead. Yeah. Do you guys think you might have let up a little bit, or was it just kind of miscues, turnovers, or anything of that sort? Um, you know, that's the game about football. It can it can swing or it can sway either way very quickly. Momentum, you know, can shift, and uh, it's just capitalizing. You know. Um, whether it's, you know, on offense, you know, not filming the ball, throwing an interception or, you know, getting two holding penalties or whatever it was to set us back in the third and 40 or 30 and then getting a sack on my part. Uh, it's just the little things, you know, if we clean those up, we're, we're golden, you know. Uh, they couldn't stop us tonight, in my opinion. They didn't stop us at all once. Uh, it was ourselves. Um, you know, we're our hardest defense, in my opinion. So. Uh, and then, Cole, uh, congrats tonight. You move into fourth all-time program history touchdown passes. Um, you know, guys like uh, Cole Brennan, uh, Brian Moniz, Timmy Chang, I mean, to, to be a part of a company like that, uh, yeah. you know, what's that like? Um, I didn't even know that, to be honest. Um, but to just be even mention the same sentence as, you know, those great players, it's, it's definitely an honor. And I, I'm just so thankful for the guys around me, uh, for the coaching staff believing in me and just, uh, you know, playing hard and playing, you know, that Hawaii football that everybody knows. Uh, and then, uh, Jared, for you, uh, big game tonight. Um, it, it also seems like, too, man, when you catch the ball, you bring a certain kind of energy. Uh, you know, you're tough to take down. Every time we're getting highlights of you, there's three, four guys trying to bring you down. Is that something you kind of pride yourself on, not just catching it, but, you know, bringing a certain attitude when you catch a football? Oh, yeah, definitely. Uh, like starting off probably in practice, routes on air, just running routes with Cole and Shevin, just always working on getting my yak, working up the field. So it's all just part of my work. Uh, and then, Kaimana, real quick for you. Uh, last week when we talked in Seattle, you said you needed to play better sound defense tackling-wise. How would you assess the way that you guys were tackling tonight? Um, I think we did a very great job. I mean, there's still some you know, missed tackles on my part as well. But the biggest thing was you guys had a good defensive swarm, guys getting to the ball, trying to you know, get the ball on the ground. So I think we did a pretty good job executing. Uh, for, for any of you guys, all of you guys, or we, whoever wants to address it, um, how important was it to get out to a fast start tonight, considering last week? Um, sorry. Um, for us this week, we just talked about, you know, putting the nail in the coffin and really just burying teams and uh, 
I feel like that's the next step for us as a, as a whole team uh, to get out on top of an opponent like we did and then just, you know, you know keep on the gas and not let off. Um, you know, I, I want to see us, and I know the coaches want to see us, and everybody wants to just see us, you know, just blow them out. Um, and I feel like that's the next step, you know, just getting that, uh, that killer instinct and, you know, lessening the mistakes, whether it's a fumble or whatever, um, and, you know, just really coming out strong and, and finishing them in the first half or even the third quarter. Um, I feel like that's the next step for us. Cole, how frustrating is, um, I guess, um, this is another week where the turnover bug kind of bites you a little bit. How frustrating is that when you're trying to build momentum, trying to, you know, step on their throat and something like that happens? I mean, is that something that can be easily corrected? Yeah, um, you know, it's definitely frustrating, but it's it's part of the game. And, uh, you know, we had faith in the defense regardless of what happened. You know, they were going to get us to stop. Um, but looking on it, you know, after watching film and stuff, um, it's crazy to see, you know, just – if we can limit those turnovers, whether it's a fumble or interception or just you know uh, penalties, how explosive our offense can be and how unstoppable we really are. Um, and I said it before, you know, we're, we're our hardest defense because we mess up most of the time, and that's how uh, the other team gets the ball back and gets momentum going. Um, but for us, it's just lessening the mistakes and playing as a unit.